One forward on the dot, one forward on the hash marks. Hard, let's go, let's go, let's keep drive. Between the whistles, Tyson Ramsey reflects. Championships, uh, you know, wherever they land in your career are obviously a bonus, but, uh, uh, you know, the road and the process along the way is, is, is what's cool. Born and raised in Dominion City, sports dominated. It was uh, hockey in the winter and ball in the summer and, and uh, you know my dad was involved in both of those and so uh, I was fortunate enough to, uh, I can remember a little bit, little bit of it, but watching him play and, and uh, the fastball and some of the things that he did there and playing some senior hockey by that point, uh, by the time I remember you know watching some of those games and so you know he was heavily involved in it and uh, my brother and I uh, uh, both got involved in it and my mom did the driving. Ramsey played with the Winkler Flyers and was runner-up for MJHL Rookie of the Year in 1994. His Flyers were finalists for the league championship in back-to-back -back seasons. I believe we won the first two games. We walked out of the rink feeling pretty good about ourselves and then uh, it was about a week later that we were uh, had lost. <laughs> so a learning experience for sure for us as young guys. Tom Skinner, who was from nearby Emerson, recruited Ramsey to play with the Bobcats, where he spent four seasons. In 2000, Ramsey remembers being on the doorstep. The year that we made the playoffs and, and beat the Bisons probably is is uh, something that sticks out to me. And then we had a chance against uh, Saskatchewan to, if we'd won that series, to go to the national championship. And so I think probably that uh, you know it was an exciting time. I remember the you know the sportsplex was full and uh, uh, pretty exciting hockey. And and uh, I think probably outside of the people that I met and and uh, the friendships and relationships that I that I carved out there, I think probably that year of hockey was the most memorable. Ramsey's coaching career gained momentum with the Brandon U18 Wheat Kings. He spent seven seasons with the club, three as an assistant and four as head coach. He guided the club to two league finals. It was a great time in, in my coaching career and I learned a, a ton there. Not, not that you ever, you ever stop learning, but uh, I just felt like, um, you know, I, I grew quite a bit as a coach there. Um, you know, Ken Schneider and, and Brad Wells and those guys that kind of uh, got me into the coaching scene in Brandon. He stepped down as Wheat Kings coach in 2018 and quickly found the new venture inverted. After one season on the coaching staff with the Oil Caps, he became bench boss and general manager. More now, you, you have to develop individual relationships with each individual player. That's, that's one of the things that I really enjoy uh, about this job. It's hard at times, but certainly very rewarding when you, you know, when you take a group of guys and get to know them individually and see how you know, not only the group um, moves on and progresses, but it, as each individual moves on and, and gets to become uh, you know, more mature and, and gain some experience and, and, and grows up right before your eyes, it's a pretty cool experience. The road that brought the former Bobcat captain and academic All-Canadian to his current destination is paved in blue and gold. Wouldn't be doing, wouldn't be standing here with you or, or, or doing what I'm doing today without that experience. Everything seems like it was so long ago, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been an awesome experience and I, and I wouldn't trade any of it.